Alright guys, welcome back to yet another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. I actually have the GoPro on right now. And I'm going to basically do a POV video of what I carry inside my tackle bag for this year. So it's just about to get summertime here, so I figured I'd kind of go through what I carry. Bank fishing in my tackle bag or on a boat or whatever. Every time I go fishing, I have this bag with me. This bag has actually been in the past couple what's in my tackle bag videos. And I don't seem to see that changing because I love this bag. And if it ever tears apart or anything, I'm obviously going to get the same bag because I absolutely love this bag. So starting off with the bag, this bag is the Guggen Squad Tackle Backpack. Uh, it's been out for a couple of years now. I've been using it for a couple of years. Absolutely love this thing. It carries everything that I need bank fishing. So we're now we're going to go over what I carry inside of it. So we're going to start out on the outside. So for the obvious, I got my knife right here. It's attached with a CUDA lanyard. I absolutely love that. In this front pocket right here, I basically keep everything that I need to dry. Um, so if I have like maybe a spinner bait, buzz bait, whatever else, crank baits, whatever I need to throw in there to dry, that just helps prevent rust and it helps a lot. So we'll start off with the side pockets right here. So in this side pocket, zips fully open. First thing I got is I got my pliers. These are the uh, KVD multi-tool pliers. Really, really cool. They open up. It's got a lot of tools on there. These are the main pliers I use to get the hooks out of fish, whatnot. Really, really nice. Comes with a sheath. I also have that attached to the bag with a CUDA lanyard because I don't want to lose these. These are expensive. <coughs> Next up, we got my scale. This is my Berkeley Grip and Weigh scale. I had to replace the clip on it a couple years back, but still grips fish just fine. Works really well, really, really accurate. I got some sunscreen in here, SPF 30 sunscreen, Walmart. Pretty cheap, works really well. I've actually had that bottle for a couple years. The only other thing in here I have is my water thermometer. Check the water temperature. Right now it's just about 60-ish degrees in here. So i got that. All right, other side, same exact pocket on this side. In here, I got my headlamp, extra GoPro batteries, just in case the GoPro runs out of battery. I usually use a power bank with it when I fish, so it really doesn't matter. All right, I got some scent back here. I got my uh, Smelly Jelly Crawfish scent. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, and then if I want to add a little bit of color to my bait, um, if the fish are a little more finicky or in dirtier water, I'll use this. This is the Spike It Dipping Glow in Chartreuse. It's garlic scented. Other things I carry in here, uh, Rapala fish grips. Six inch fish grips work really, really well. <coughs> Forceps in case uh, maybe the fish gets gut hooked or something and I need to remove it. And then last thing I carry in here is I carry this bag right here. I got it from Timu. This bag right here is really, really great for uh, picking up trash or whatever else I might need to do. Alright, next up, let's go over what I carry in this front pocket here. This pocket's also a uh, pocket that fully zips open. So as you can see, fully zips open. Got two pockets right here and then it's got, up here I got my soft plastics. So go over what I got down here first. Uh, First pocket here, got my Rapala Superline scissors with a whistle. And I also have that attached with a CUDA lanyard because I don't want to lose my cutting tools. I got some toilet paper because if you got to go, you got to go. I have a Berkeley tape measure. This measures up to four feet. This thing's really convenient. Uh, sunscreen. I like to use this on my lips when it's really, really hot out and I don't want my lips to get chapped. And then I got my O-ring tool, Bass Pro Shops. I don't know if you guys can see that, Bass Pro Shops. All right, next pocket, second one down here. I got my uh, culling clip for uh, catch a big bass and I want to keep it for a picture or something and let it go. This works great or if I'm in a tournament or if I need to keep maybe a bluegill alive for bait or something. And then I have a ton of these hook bonnets because... Like I said earlier in the video, if I want to let a crankbait dry or something, I'll uh, throw some hook bonnets on, throw it in this front pocket. Works really well. And then I have a bracelet down here that my dad made for me years ago. I just keep it in here for good luck. I got a couple floats in here. 
case I need those. All right, next up, I've got my fishing license and a few other documents in here. This is for my keys in case I need to hook my keys on here. It's just a carabiner clip. So I got, I want to go through my plastics last. I got my uh, Oakley sunglasses in here. These are the Oakley Flak 2.0 XLs. Uh, amber lens, really, really great glasses. Probably my favorite ones. All right, let's go over my uh, first two boxes here. Got my uh, spinner baits and buzz baits. Let's go over my uh, buzz baits first. This is my buzz bait box right here. All right, so I got a couple buzz baits in here. My favorite ones to use are my uh, Strike King Tour Grade buzz baits. I got a couple of those. I got a black and a white one, both half ounce. I got a uh, 3 8 ounce Guggen Squad black buzz bait. I got a couple of uh, Booyah buzz baits in here, clackers, clacking buzz baits. All right, as for spinner baits, I don't want to take these out because sometimes they get tangled, but I'll just go ahead and uh, point them out real quick. Uh, trophy bass spinner baits, probably my favorite spinner baits to use. Uh, all 3 8 ounce. I got a couple different blade combinations. I got three Colorado Willow combinations. I have Sexy Shad, Chartreuse, uh, Mouse Color. It's kind of a translucent. And then I have, for Double Willow, I have Sexy Shad, and then I have Golden Shiner. I got a couple of Booyah uh, nighttime spinner baits in here, Booyah Moon Talkers, half ounce and three eighths ounce. I got a couple uh, Strike King Burner spinner baits, really, really, really great for uh, uh, when you want to burn the bank in clear water, shallow ponds, work really, really well. Really great power fishing spinner bait. I got a couple of... Uh, Strike King Tour Grade Spinner Baits. These are uh, Colorado, Indiana Blade Spinner Baits. <coughs> I got a Terminator, half ounce Terminator in pumpkin seed pattern. Um, I got a Bass Pro Shops Laser Eye Spinner Bait. This one's kind of interesting. It's got a really big blade on it, but it's uh, still a half ounce or a three quarters ounce spinner bait, so I'm able to really cast it out there pretty well. It's really interesting. I really like that one. I've had it for a couple of years now. I got a couple of Strike King uh, Bleeding Bait Spinner Baits. I got a couple of Booyah Pond Magic Spinner Baits. And then I have a couple of uh, Strike King Mini King Spinner Baits, which are a really, really tiny spinner bait. Great for like creeks and rivers and whatnot, small streams. Really, really great there. So that's for the spinner baits and buzz baits. We can move on to soft plastics now. So the plastics I use more often, I have in four different bags right here that I just kind of hung on this bag with D-rings. It doesn't come with this, but I really like this uh, organization method. So first off right here, I got my worms. And these are just the baits that I use most often. This isn't all my plastics. All the rest of my plastics I carry in this bag down here. So I got some uh, Zoom Trick Worms in Green Pumpkin. Those work really, really well, especially this time of year, twitch them, twitch them on beds or whatnot. I uh, got my uh, Sankos right here, five inch Sankos, Green Pumpkin Magic and uh, Watermelon Red Magic. Zoom Finesse Worms, uh, Green Pumpkin Magic. One of them's died in the spike it that I talked about earlier. All right, so these right here are my uh, Craws. Yum craw bugs, really, really great bait for smallmouth or uh, whenever you want a realistic presentation. Great bait on a drop shot as well. Strike King River bugs, really, really great bait for um, smaller ponds and whatnot or uh, punching through the grass. I got some in uh, California craw and then green pumpkin. What I do with my soft plastics, and I've noticed a lot of other anglers do the same thing, um, what I'll do is if I have the same bait but I have a couple different colors, I'll carry four of each 
um, color of bait in the same bag. Or if I just have one color of bait, I'll just carry four of that. Just uh, re reduces weight and fatigue on my bag. And last one, I have uh, some Berkeley Power Bait Chigger Craws in Alabama Craw. Those work absolutely amazing on jig heads. And then I have my creature baits and tubes in here. Bass Pro Shops double dip tubes. These things are absolutely amazing. I was using the uh, Strike King coffee tubes, but they keep raising the price on them. And I don't want to break the bank, plus these are like $2.50 a pack. So I got Green Pumpkin Magic in there, and then I have this uh, June Bug color in there as well. Zoom mid size Brush Hogs. Uh, fish that in my recent video you guys saw. Absolutely love these baits. I got Watermelon Candy in there, June Bug, and then I have Green Pumpkin Magic. You guys will notice a, a pattern with the colors. And then I have... Uh, Reaction Innovations Sweet Beavers, Watermelon Red Flake, 4.25 inches. Um, absolutely love these for uh, probably my favorite punching bait for punching through matted grass, which I'm probably going to be doing later on this year pretty soon. Alright, uh, this is my bait fish imitation bag. My favorite soft swim bait. Um, Strike King Perfect Plastics uh, Swimming Caffeine Shad. Three different colors in there. I got Pearl, uh, Green Pumpkin Pearl, and then Watermelon Red Flake to uh, imitate the bluegill. Uh, Bass Pro Shops uh, Paddle Tail Shads. These are uh, great smaller swim bait. Really, really great in uh, creeks and rivers. The creeks around my house for smallmouth. These work great. Zoom Super Flukes. I got a white pearl and then I have a, I believe this color is called Arkansas Shiner. It's really nice. Alright, so that's my uh, most used plastics. And then I have this bag. This is a Daiwa uh, speed bag, I believe is what they call it. And it's a waterproof bag. Basically carries all the plastics that I use less often. So we'll go over these real quick. I got, uh, let's see here. Strike King Rage Craws, Green Pumpkin, Black and Blue. Probably my most used colors of soft plastic. I got, uh, what are these? Yum Warning Shots. These work really well on a drop shot, great drop shot worm. Pretty interesting, they got a really nice flat tail on them. And they uh, catch a really, really great finesse worm here. Let's see, I got some uh, jig trailers. First, my flipping jigs. Yum Christie Craws, black and blue, work really well. Uh, let's see, these are the Yum Christie Craws I normally throw. These are the uh, green pumpkin ones. And uh, I like throwing these, uh, just regular Texas rig, running them along the bank, under some grass, or through the grass in the summertime. These work great. All right, let's see, I got. Uh, Zoom Super Chunk Juniors. These are my favorite uh, jig trailer. Black and blue, green pumpkin. Let's see, you got a. Uh, I can't remember the name. What's the name of these ones? These are uh, basically just Berkeley Power Bait minnows in here. Great drop shot baits. I've been catching a lot of fish on these recently. Uh, Z-Man Finesse TRD is great on a Ned Rig. Probably the most classic Ned Rig bait ever. I got Green Pumpkin Gobi in there. Six inch Senkos. These are the Bass Pro Shops. Six inch Senkos in a uh, baby bass pattern. I got uh, Zoom Lizards. Great bait during the spawn. Probably my favorite ones during the fish during the spawn. Flip it and pitch it on the bed. And uh, these are in uh, Green Pumpkin Chartreuse. Six inch lizards. I got my uh, Zoom Swimming Chunks, probably my favorite swim jig trailer of all time. Got White Pearl and Green Pumpkin. Kalen's Lunker Grubs, these are the white grubs I like to use, another great spawn bait. Or in the, they also work really well in murky water in my uh, local creeks, imitate a minnow really well. 
Zoom Fat Albert grubs. I got uh, Cotton Candy and Green Pumpkin in here. These are probably my favorite grubs. Really soft plastic on those. They work really well. Yum Thumping Dingers. My favorite swimming worm type bait. Really good on a shaky head, especially this time of year. I'm probably going to be fishing these a lot more right when it starts to get really, really hot here. Uh, I got a pack of uh, just some Yum Grubs chartreuse and then a uh, translucent chartreuse um berkeley power bait pogey swim shads really great bait during the spawn again put it right on the bed imitates some type of bait fish eating the eggs robo worms probably my favorite drop shot bait of all time um 4.5 inch um bold bluegill and then morning dawn Really great baits there. And these are my buzz or, uh, chatterbait trailers. These are the Bass Assassin uh, Wii Turbos. Work really, really well for a chatterbait trailer. And then lastly in this bag, I got my uh, Zoom U-Tails. Great curl tail worm, red shad, classic color. Great bait for night fishing too. I've been fishing this a lot recently at night. And then... Last thing in the bag here, I got a bag of uh, four inch Sankos and Green Pumpkin Magic, Gary Yamamoto. And that does it all for my plastic, so we'll go on to the next pocket. So, moving on to the big pocket, what's cool about this bag is it zips all the way open. So, I'm able to basically flip it all the way open like that. It's got two pockets right here on the front, so we're going to go ahead and go through it. First off, I got this bag here. It's got some alcohol wipes in it, insulin needles, I'm a diabetic so I have those, a couple cotton swabs, lighter, super glue, you never know when you're going to need that stuff. I got some real oil in case my reel starts making noise, got to oil it up. Bug spray, always get bug spray with a high amount of DEET, I can't stress that enough. Uh, emergency poncho. So over here I got my leaders for fishing when I'm fishing braid. So I got 14 pound fluorocarbon, my most used. 17 pound fluorocarbon for fishing heavier Texas rigs and jigs and whatnot. Then I have some uh, 12 pound mono. And I use 12 pound mono for, uh, the only thing I really use this for is if I'm fishing with live bait or I'm fishing a buzz bait for the most part. All right. So next up, we got the last two things in the bag, which is the two tackle boxes that I carry in this bag. I carry two 3700s. And the first one is my hard baits box. So we'll go ahead and go over that real quick. All right, so over here I got my uh, Rapala Shad Wraps, probably my favorite deep diving crankbait of all time. Got several color patterns, several different sizes. I got my other deep divers, these are mainly Berkeley Flicker Shads, and then I got one um, Guggen Mini Recon in there. Square bills, the majority of those are uh, Strike King 1.5s and 1.0s, but I believe I have a Bass Pro Shops one in there as well. Jerk baits, I really, really like Rapala X Wraps, got several different color patterns. Topwater hard baits, got my uh, poppers, walkers, uh, whopper ploppers in there. Over here is my got my lipless crankbaits. My favorite ones to fish are the Red Eye Shad, Strike King Red Eye Shad, half ounce. So I got a bunch of those, a couple rattle traps in there. Uh, Jitterbugs, probably one of my favorite top waters of all time, especially at night. I got a bunch of different crankbaits in here. I got some uh, Thundercraws by Storm, a couple of Rapala floating minnows, uh, a couple of Rapala jointed minnows in there. Um, over here I got a couple poppers and uh, couple different top water baits in there and I have a couple flat sided crankbaits. These are my uh, Rapala floating minnows but those are the original smaller size. And then over here I just got some uh, jigging wraps and a couple different trolling crankbaits that I use sometimes. And that's kept in a uh, Evolution Fishing uh, four way waterproof tackle tray. Alright, and the last tackle tray I carry, this is my all-purpose box. So, I got a little bit of everything in this box. So, over here, got my swim jigs. Those are the Strike King Tour Grade Swim Jigs. 
uh, quarter ounce and three eighths ounce bluegill and white flipping jigs. My favorite ones to use are the Strike King Hack Attack flipping jigs, but I also have some uh, Booyah Boo jigs in there. And then I got my uh, football jigs and finesse jigs on this side. I got my chatter baits, carry six chatter baits with me, uh, multiple different color patterns, all three eighths ounce. Got some metal, got some uh, smaller spoons, some inline spinners. I got my frogs over here. These are the bigger frogs. And then I have my uh, smaller frogs over here. Got uh, some more metal, crocodile spoons, big flutter spoons, and I got a couple blade baits in there. Um, over here, got some uh, bigger inline spinners. These are more bass size. <coughs> a couple catfish bells in case I uh, am fishing at night or something and I want to make sure that I can hear my bait or hear my rod. Um, terminal tackle and stuff. Right here, I got some uh, marabou jigs. I got my uh, all my jig heads and stuff right here. Bullet weights. I got my uh, tungsten weights. All my hooks. And then over here, I just got my snaps. Uh, snap swivels, O-rings, a bunch of terminal tackle right there. And that's all kept in a Evolution Fishing uh, drift style tackle tray. Because um, it doesn't have a bunch of treble hooks in here, so I don't really see the need to use a waterproof tray. Alright, so that's basically it of what I carry in my tackle bag. The only other thing I have here is I want to show you guys my knife that I use. This is my uh, Cabela's um, folding knife that I got and they gave it to me for free when I signed up for their credit card nice sharp blade doesn't isn't serrated unfortunately but I figured it's cheap it's a great little uh, fishing knife to have I have it attached to a CUDA lanyard I just keep it right here on the front of my bag super simple just clip it right on there no problems so like I said I absolutely love this bag and I will use it literally until it falls apart absolutely love it the only other thing I want to talk about is some of the features. I have uh, my water bottle holders over here. Usually carry uh, two water bottles with me. So there's one on that side and there's one on this side. The shoulder straps aren't the most comfortable shoulder straps ever. They do kind of ride, uh, the bag kind of rides lower into your um, uh, hip line a little bit, but that's okay. Um, the shoulder straps, honestly, I haven't had any faults with and I've had this bag for two years and I've been constantly for the past two years been carrying around 20 pounds of gear in it and I have no problems with this bag at all it's held up way better than any other bag I've tried so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys want to see more what's in my tackle bag videos do not forget to subscribe I put out new videos anytime I can thank you guys so much for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video peace